If possible, you could add me a few minutes so that I bring forth a message I have for the house. Okay, I'll uh, give you an extra two minutes, so you have five minutes. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, as the rule provides in the PFM Act, Article 39A, that we have to balance our expenditure and our revenues. And Honorable Speaker, I want to talk as the Chairman of Budget, and I actually want to talk as an indifferent party, that whatever may happen on the... Um, on the bill, the Budget and Appropriations Committee is prepared, Honorable Speaker. But from the onset, we want to loud Kenyans for their voices. This country belongs to Kenyans, and when they express themselves, they are doing precisely what the Constitution provides. I also want to loud all the Kenyan um, uh, leaders, including our side of government and the other side, Honorable Speaker, because we are all geared to the welfare of the Kenyan people. Honorable Speaker, I have since, and I want members to, if possible, they can have this in their mind as we debate. I have since received a letter and communication from the National Treasury addressed to the clerk of the National Assembly, but I am copied as the chairperson of budget. And Honorable Speaker, the Treasury is looking in all scenarios. Scenario number one, if the bill passes only with the amendments from the Finance Committee. Scenario number two is actually if the bill, the MPs in their wisdom decide that we shelve it. Honorable Speaker, if the status quo remains that we pass the bill as proposed by the Honorable Kemani Kuria and the committee, the appropriations bill passes as it is, Honorable Speaker, as we did last week. However, Honorable Speaker, it is important for members to note that in case there is a downfall in terms of the revenues by the proposed 200 billion that was to be raised in the finance bill, Honorable Speaker, then the government and the National Treasury and the Budget Committee is also prepared for that scenario. And I have communication, Honorable Speaker, from the National Treasury from the proposals. And I wish that I read some of them that if the bill does not pass, Honorable Speaker, we'll be reducing the budget for the State House for 51 million, budget at the State uh, uh, Office of the President for 51 million, security organs, defense, for example, will be losing 7.75 billion, ongoing pivots in our constituencies will have to shelve that ambition by reducing by 800 million, Honorable Speaker, higher education loans board will be losing 3.2 billion, Honorable Speaker, the JSS teachers, 46,000 of them, Honorable Speaker, by letting this bill pass, will actually be giving jobs at the permanent and pensionable. And Honorable Speaker, if the wisdom of this House is to shelve that decision, then it means the JSS teachers, whom Honorable Speaker, I would persuade this House that we confirm there will be no funding. NGCDF will be reducing by 15 billion shillings, which is 50 million per constituency, Honorable Speaker. The monies we appropriated for electricity, 50 million per constituency, Honorable Speaker, by again not giving the National Treasury the power for more revenue raising measures, the 50 million per constituency will be disappearing today, Honorable Speaker. Coffee cherry fund will be cut 1 billion, Honorable Speaker, if there is no funding, Honorable Speaker, through the finance bill. Our last plea is this. This letter is public information. It can be shared to the members of parliament. Honorable Speaker, my plea is this, as the chairman of budget, that if it's possible, the House Business Committee can actually bring the appropriations bill this afternoon. That the decision that we take in the finance bill, we can also cascade the same by appropriating the, the proposed cuts in the appropriation bill so that we can finish the entire business today, Honorable Speaker. However, However, Honorable Speaker, I am sure with the same energy that we are speaking either for or against. We will also explain to Kenyans, the JSS teachers, I am sure those who will be voting against their uh, confirmation to PNP, we will also explain to them, Honorable Speaker. Those voting against increment in CDF, we will also be, Honorable Speaker, explaining to Kenyans about it. Those who will be voting against the increment, Honorable Speaker, 
of employing 20,000 more teachers will have an ample time to explain to uh, the teachers of this country, Honorable Speaker. And Honorable Speaker, the proposed cut in terms of roads is 15 billion. Those who will be voting against the increment of 15 billion to roads, I am sure they'll eloquently explain to Kenyans about it, as Honorable Speaker. A minute to finish. Order. O Honorable Speaker. Order. On. Order, Honorable Members. Order. Order. Give him three minutes and wind up. Honorable Speaker, I want to be very objective. Honorable Speaker, these are the proposed cuts in case there is no revenue raising measures as proposed by Honorable Kemani Kuria. Honorable Speaker, number one, as I said, I want to be, to be very clear. State House has been cut money 500 million, Office of the President another 500 million, security like defense is 7.75 billion cuts. Honorable Speaker, the same. We have already promised our JSS teachers that uh, the 46,000 of them will be employed and on permanent and personable. Honorable Speaker, if we don't give the National Treasury the power for revenue raising measures, it means the people will be voting against the confirmation of the 46,000 interns will have up to time to explain to them how they voted against them getting permanent jobs, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, the reduction in NGCDF is 15 billion shillings. That is a small figure, Honorable Speaker, because I can see members are saying 50 million is not much. In Kiharo, it's a lot of money, Honorable Speaker, that every constituency will be cut 50 million shillings starting, starting, starting uh, July, Honorable Speaker. GAF, GAF, we just added them half a billion. Honorable Speaker, the proposal is to reverse the 500 million, and also to reduce further by an extra 1 billion, Honorable Speaker. The money we appropriated Order. for electricity, 50 million per constituency, Honorable Speaker. I hope those who will be voting against electrification in our villages will have time to explain to Kenyans why they are voting against electricity in our rural areas, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, there is a proposed Order. reduction. Order. Honorable Commissioner Mishi, I know you differently. Order. Order, honorable members. Order. Order, honorable members on both sides of the house. Order. Order. Honorable members on both sides of the house. In the tradition of parliament, if you approve of something, you thumb your feet. You don't wail and shout as if you are in a rally. This is not a rally. This is a house of parliament. Dindi, can you wind up? Honorable Speaker, the other thing is that there is a proposed reduction of one billion shillings in livestock restocking. From our side, we believe those who lost, lost their livestock deserve to be compensated. Those who will vote against one billion that is going to livestock restocking, we'll explain to our uh, pastoral is Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker also, the money proposed for reduction for school feeding program is 1.8 billion. On our side, we believe the 1.8 billion is needed to feed the children of this country as they go to our schools, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, the political parties, we can all agree in unison. We are proposing a cut of 900 million I know that is not contentious. We can agree to cut it this afternoon, Honorable Speaker, because we are also uh, prepared for it. Honorable Speaker, there is a proposed cut of 5.5 billion shillings for cash transfer. Our parents who registered last year deserve to get their cash transfer. Order time.